All right, let's set up the audio on your Pi repeater today. So the first thing you're going to need is a cable that has a headphone jack and a DB9 male to plug into your radio and an audio source such as an online tone generator or a function generator on your cell phone. Something that will create a, a stable, consistent signal that we can use for testing. So first we plug this into the audio source and into the cable. It's important to note that the Pi is already powered up in this situation. And we're going to use a, a oscilloscope on Q1 and Q2. For ease here, I've hooked up a wire. This is an option. It's your choice if you choose to go down the path or not. So when we hook this up, you can see that we're getting a, a 1 kilohertz signal here. A little bit unstable, but that's okay. It's just a triggering on my oscilloscope. Now, the key things we want to look for are the voltage peak to peak. As you can see here, this is at 460, 470. Now I'm on channel one right now. We want to adjust this up to right around 500 millivolts, peak to peak. Doesn't have to be exact, just something on that order we found to be a good, good starting point. So we're at 504 to 496. That, that should be fine for our applications for right now. So then we'll switch over to channel two. and move our current probe as appropriate, or excuse me, our voltage probe. And this one you can see is between 504 and 520. That's good enough for our applications. So with that, we'll talk to how to adjust these real quickly. So R in adjust, which is this leftmost potentiometer here, is for channel one. And then over here, you have L in adjust, which is your channel two, and the R and L correspond with the right audio channel and the left audio channel as we use a stereo codec for the audio capture and playback. So channel one is always on the right channel, both input and output, and channel two is on the left channel, audio input and output. These also correspond to the left flat and right flat switches, which allow you to select whether you're passing flat audio or not. So with that, these are the only two adjustments you need to make to set up your channels as appropriate. One thing to watch for is make sure you're not clipping the signal here. This should be a nice pure sine wave, uh, no distortion. So that distortion will be picked up into the input uh, converter and will be passed along as distortion. This has been shown to mess with DTMF decoding, which is all done in software. So you want to have this as clean as you can, and it's better to underdrive the signal a little bit than to overdrive it as there is gain stages and adjustment stages on the output where you can gain back some volume to accommodate the potential distortion inputs depending on the output level of your radio. So with that you now have your Pi repeater set up for audio input and we'll go forth and get on the air.